The Camera Raw filter in Photoshop is really powerful when we want to sharpen and even smooth portrait photos. So go ahead and open up lightningshadows.jpg and princess.jpg from the support files. And so with lightningshadows.jpg open, go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And we can zoom in here a little bit so we can see some of the detail. The same shortcuts work just like in Photoshop's main workspace area. Control or Command plus or minus can zoom in and zoom out. And over here on the tab, click on the third one. It's called the Detail tab. And if you just drag that sharpening amount over to the right, we're going to see this photo just really become more tack sharp. It's kind of out of focus just slightly by default. Just bring it over to the right. Uh, experiment with the radius. We can click and drag on those arrows or we can just click and drag over the name. And then detail, whether you want more detail or less. If you go way too much, you know, it can kind of look like the pores almost look like goosebumps. We don't want that. Uh, just want to kind of be a subtle effect. And if you do masking, that effect's going to start to be masked out gradually. So if you want to be more subtle, you can experiment with that or you can dial it down here over to the left a little bit. Now if you go to luminance, that's going to smooth the skin and just smooth the overall photo. So you can bring that over to the right. If you go too far, it kind of looks plasticky skin. All right, we want to avoid that. So you can bring it over a little bit. And then you can bring over the luminance detail. If you go way to the left, you can see the difference compared to bring it way over to the right. All right, so just a little bit more detail. Uh, you can add a little bit of contrast with the luminance. And if you go to color, that's not going to have too much effect in this example, but uh, just experiment with some of those settings. That's just how you sharpen in Photoshop using the camera raw filter. It can be pretty useful, uh, both sharpening and smoothing, smoothing skin, for example. Um, so if you click OK, it will go ahead and sharpen and also even smooth uh, the portrait. Let's do another example, but I'm actually going to work on a duplicated layer. So press Command J on the Mac or Control J on the PC first. So this is our new layer. Then go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see the detail. And third tab again. Let's bring the sharpening way up. If you look at the hair and also her skin here, uh, when we sharpen it really improves the photo. And bring the radius up a little bit. If you go too far again, we get the almost like a goosebump effect from the pores, so we don't want that. So I'm going to bring that over to the left. Not too much. And then with luminance in this example, noise reduction, I mean, we could bring it over. It does smooth our skin out, you can see, but still keep some of the texture of the hair. So I think that looks good. I'm going to hit OK. The cool thing about this is we can use the camera raw filter in conjunction with layers and masking. So here's the before, and then here's after. It's very subtle, but if you keep your eye up here, you see the before, slightly out of focus, after, really tack sharp. A lot more contrast and detail with the hairs. And then same thing down here. Now, if we wanted this to be a selective effect, we can add a mask. So hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and click Add Layer Mask. So now it's covering up this layer. And then set your foreground color to white. Choose a nice soft edge brush. And we can let some of this show through. Like right here, we really want the detail of that hair and her eyes, and some of her skin even here. So now this area is sharpened, and it's showing. And then the original layer that's a little bit more slightly out of focus, the back area um, behind her, that's still out of focus, and that's fine with the low depth of field. All right. So we can use Camera Raw Filter to sharpen, to smooth skin, and also we can use it in conjunction with layering and masking uh, for selective adjustments.